Hey guys, Hollywood here for Goodwin Sports. Really, really excited about our press conference tonight. Uh, we've got a fantastic fight coming up. Joining me is Michael the Look Lomax and Chaz Sparta Simmons. I'm really glad to have both of you guys here. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to this fight. I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. Um, I watched your last fight, in fact, rewatched it again this morning. Um, how many times have you rewatched that fight, Michael? Do you know, I've probably about it twice. Have you? Yeah, just. I've done what I've done and move on then. Yeah. So, yeah. Chance, how about you? Have you ever watched that fight? A couple of times. A couple of times. A couple of times, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about that fight and, and, and about um, particularly how you're feeling after the fight. Um, I saw your post-fight interviews as well. So you guys had some, some choice things to say. Um, I mean, first of all, I just kind of, kind of recap the fight. Um, you know, it, it, it looked to be, to me, it, I mean, it, was, it was an excellent fight. Really, really great. Um, I think I probably scored it seven to three, maybe seven to four. You got sort of a, a bad knockdown call, I think. Um, do you want to talk about that one? Right, it wasn't a knockdown. Yeah. Did you see how I threw a left hook and I stepped back and I slipped over? I was speaking to Bob Williams when he was counting, he said it wasn't a knockdown, but I got counted as a knockdown. Um, the low blow, I had another point deducted. Yeah, another point deducted, yeah. Um, I didn't see how. Um, I'm not too sure Michael's trainer can tell the referee to take a point off me. Because if you see, Bob Williams took me aside to the other corner. Um, I said to him, accidental low blow. He said, yeah, not a problem. Do it again, Chaz, and I'll take a point off you. I said, yeah, no problem. And all of a sudden, Michael was tra training in the corner, called him over. Bob went over there, spoke to him, and he came back and took a point straight off me. So I didn't know that the trainer can tell the referee the job. And yeah. What point, do you think, Michael? That was the, I think I took about three but, four blows, but then the, the time the was first blow, but it was an accident the first, blow. The first, well, that time you done it, oh, I had loads of supporters in the corner, and I'm actually leaning over, and he's holding me down, and he blatantly punches me in the nuts, and like, I, me, I didn't hold you down. You did, I threw an uppercut to the body, and he went no, into your nuts. At the end of the day, I was. But what I'm girls. saying is, it was an accidental. I watched Costas two. Um, Ricky Atten, there was a number of low blows in there on purpose. On my my one on purpose. Yeah. Guys were on yeah. purpose. They didn't get a point deducted. They get a warning and a threat. Do it again, and I'm going to take a point of that. You did do it. I watched Bam times. Bam's last yeah, fight. Bam Bam times. on Box Nation the other night. I watched that fight. That he he him with a low blow on purpose. Got a warning. At the end of the day, I don't know how you're training until the ref. You're an aggressive fight. You keep coming, charging forward. The only way you could win is by being dirty. How's it been the, listen, yeah. the, I'm, you're pushing me down, you're punching me low. A push you down. You know, how many times can you hold someone and get away with it? You know, something's going on there. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're holding me 20 you're times speaking, around. So, so let's... Every let's, time I got close, you, you'd hold me, you'd hold me, you'd tie me up. Tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade, <laughs> tying someone up. <laughs> let's, let's, let's fight, let's fight. I'm let's see this enough. time, let's see this time around, we're going to have a fight. This time, yeah. it's going to be entertaining. It, it is, it's going to be a different ball game. It's like you said, you're going to knock me out this time. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's come on to that. So, so you had said, because <laughs> I've been all over your Twitter account, and in October, you said that you'd have a thousand pound side bet if he could knock you out. Yeah. Does that still hold? Yeah, that holds. You up for that bet? <laughs> oh, no, oh, 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 to be honest, yeah. the, the banter was between me and my trainer. Yeah. About, he was like, I want you to stop Chaz this time. He's very durable. I'm not saying that. He's, for me, I've only stopped, I think, four people from my career. I'm not a big puncher, but I know I hit solid. Yeah. And if I go out there to go and stop someone, I will stop them. But I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to knock you out because I will never knock someone out cold. I will never do that. But I will punish you and stop you. you punish me, stop me. Well, I can't uh, that's see the it. difference. It's going to be an entertaining fight. Cold, All right. That's not going to happen. But to actually want to punish me yeah? and stop you. You're living in dreamland, mate. You're well, living in dreamland, mate. No, no, no. Three and a half weeks ago, and you're going to see. This here, I've got your number. I've got your number now. I've got your number now. You're, you're going to get you knocked spark out. I'm telling you now. Fight. If you fought someone, you better slagging them off. And then got beat. Mother, we don't like each other. I've never liked you. You've never you liked me. Go. We hate each other. I don't like your attitude towards I don't like your attitude. You've got no time and respect. I don't like your chat. You don't like I, your I've attitude. I've never had no beef with any fighters at all. I go in there, I do my business, I go do out, business, do what I've got to do. I've lost fights. My last fight, I lost. That was it. But with you, it's my retiring fight. I could have gone for an easy foreigner. I could have gone for an easy fight. So you know it ain't going to be easy. So you know it ain't going to be easy. No, no, no. 
So that's it. So I'm giving you the credit. Yeah. With you, I'm going to have an exciting fight. I'm still not going there to, you know I mean, to lie down. I'm going there to win, to win this. No. This is my belt. Right. This is my belt. It's vacant. It's a vacant belt. It will be my it's a vacant belt. belt. Because there's levels I'll be taking that belt over me. There's levels that belt's coming over me. That's why I'm in the I top. Say, I can oh, see this. I can see this. I'm number 11 in the ratings. You're around about 40-odd. 30, 30, 32, I think. 32. That's why I'm even starting at 11. For sure, there's good. I still have beat it. I'll be going at 11. I'm 37 this year. So what I've achieved is brilliant. To actually be, and my last fight was for the Commonwealth. Sure, right, you get the noise, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, look at me, look at me. I want to come on to that a bit, because I want to come back to the fact that this is, this is your last fight, and yes. we'll, we'll, we'll park that for a minute, because I do want to talk about that a yeah. little bit. Um, the other thing that I just want to pick up on is, is so yeah, so you guys are angry, um, you don't like each other. Mm. Do you find that, Chaz, easier or more difficult to fight? when you come up against somebody you don't like. Does that get in your head a bit that you're... No, no, I've got to do last time rounds, you know what I mean? If it had won it by a couple of rounds, you know what I mean? Or it could have gone either way by a couple of rounds, but obviously with the points of duct here and the low blow, if you'd have got it by two rounds, not nine rounds, do you know what I mean? Right. Like, where where the nine rounds come from? You know I mean, I was fully in the fight. The first couple of rounds, you weren't even laying a glove on me. You I was just stepping back. Four. Four. You just did seven, four in rounds, you thought. Seven, seven three. Seven, I, I, the knockdown maybe seven, seven four. four. The, the thing that that that, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna poke you a bit here. Um, but I think that that you really didn't hit your stride until about the fifth round. I think I think yeah, the but, first four rounds yeah, you, you, so, you were a bit so you know. A bit but I was boxing and he still weren't landing a glove on me though. If you watch it back, go and watch it back tonight, and you'll see every time he's throwing a one, two in the jab, and I'm just stepping back, just stepping back. Then I'll jump in, and I'll get him with one or two shots, and it'd be holding, and it'd be a break. Then he'd go back on the long jab, and it was just, just falling short. I was the classier fighter. I was the you classier, fighter. but you weren't connecting, and you got to connect to score. Yeah, I might be tapping you. Yeah, but you weren't hitting me. You weren't hitting me. So how can you score still somebody if they're not hitting you? Someone's going. How can you score somewhere if they're not hitting you? Not even with power. Watch the clip again, watch it again. Right again. If you're not hitting me, the first if two you rounds. If you faces at the end of it, the only time I had a mark was from a yeah. clash of heads. Go on, Karen asked Christian. That was it. That is it. So, would you say that, that Chaz is a dirty fighter then? I say a very dirty fighter. He yeah. talks dirty. You know what I mean? The bit about the seeing a ref coming out of my changing room with his doing his tries. What's going on there? That is just taking the pay. Really, he's disrespecting me, he's disrespecting the ref. Yeah, I mean, the ref don't like me. I like you on me, the ref. No, I've never had one. He's doing that. He's doing his job. If I lost, doing his job. You know, Jesus Christ! Right. If I actually lost, did you I'll see? The, like, did you, know you see the start of the fight when he's going to touch hands? When he's going to touch accept. hands? Did you not see that when he was about to touch hands at the start of the fight and he wouldn't touch my hands? And then the ref went over there too. He was like his best mate. He was like his best mate. I mean, awarded him like his best mate. That's the ref meant to be scoring the fight. He meant to be eager. This fight, Cold, just cold, cold. You, don't, you don't shake his hand. You and that ref, you and that ref, you're saying what's going on. You didn't want to shake your hand. You and that ref, you were saying, I don't know, you mate. You and that ref, you were saying, I actually enjoy going in there because you're the only person that I've never been in the game. Talk, so that's the, yeah. the reason. So, so, what do you think about? So, Chaz has said that, that the point deduction, particularly, yeah. that your camp had an impact on, on whether or not a point. Never. Never. Do you not, have you not watched it? I've watched it twice. Seen it, you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, I've watched it several it. times, yeah. How many times did you think you should, he hit me with a, a low blow? He hit me a few times. What, do you think it should be a point taken? He only had one point deducted. What was entailing... I think in that Why instance... Why did he get a point deducted, though? If it was an accident, low blow, I, no I've been watching so many fights. I've never seen it happen. It and, and even Bob Williams said to me, do it again, I'll take a point off you. That was his word. Do it again, I'll take a point off you. And all of a sudden, Rod, what's his name? Rod is trying to cause him on that. Rob, Bob Williams goes over to the corner, speaks to the trainer, like they're all little mates, like a little clan, speaks to him, comes back and goes one point. Well, I'd say, how can you just do that? He just told me not to take it a point. Did. What, does he tell you your job? So what are you going to do if, what are you going to do if Bob draws this fight, fight again? I won't fight, I won't fight. I won't fight. You will fight because you hate me and you want the fight. That is it. You will fight. Whoever the breath is, you will fight. Because you don't like it. We've got kind of Bob Williams, kind of. So at the end of the day, whoever is refing the fight is... is What's got to be done? That is it. 
What's getting done is you're getting knocked out. That's about yeah, it, mate. But you can't punch. No, I can't punch. I've taken but your best shots. Look at what Your legs got like Bambi. He was like Bambi on ice. So did yours. Dude, something stupid. So did yours. So did yours. So did yours. But we're seeing this fight. Well, here we go. But we're here we seeing go. this fight. So it's like Mr. Macho who's going to go Mr. down Mr. Macho. First. So do you think, do you think in the last fight that, 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 that was a clean shot that knocked him down? It wasn't a slip. Do you think that was a clean no, shot on your part? I'm not saying. His hand touched the canvas. So at the end of the day, if your hand touches the canvas, you still got connected with shot. It might have been one of those, but you still took a shot. Weren't a big shot. But if, if you've touched it, the can, but if you've touched the canvas, that is why he's gave you that, and that is it. Right, this interview up. So you don't time. think that was necessarily a, a clean shot on your part that, that put it him was on the a clean canvas? Clean shot, but if he was off balance or whatever, he still hit the canvas. So he knows. And he knows. He touched the canvas. He knows. Look, I'm not saying I knocked you down with a massive blown shot. I'm telling you, I hit you with a shot. Have you ever you seen, all right, all right, forget about that. Then. Have you ever seen, but just come back to this point. Have you ever seen anybody that hit someone at a low, low blow accident and get a point straight away? I'm sure you do. No, you was warned. You was warned and he sure. was complete. I've been warned. Uh, that's so first time I've never been warned. He was playing. He was playing. I've never been warned. I'm in I'm the just saying, If you go and back and watch Bam Bam at the week, I watched it at the weekend, sorry. Bam Bam, and he got hit low blow. I can't think of who he was fighting. Who was he fighting? Somebody, and it's a blatant obvious low blow, and the ref just do it again, and that's it. That's you yeah. know, I, I don't so say the, so the, the so worst of what I've done. So Ricky out across the suit. I watched that fight the other week with Ricky out across the suit, and you see that happen. Across the suit with Ricky out, and then Ricky out. Around later, Ricky out, and then Ricky out, and then across the suit back. Right. So you still think no, you won right. that fight? You still think it was you close, could have gone either way, could have gone either way. But with them points deducted, them Robin points deducted. When I got robbed for them points deducted, probably swung it to you by two rounds. I was like, no way, nine rounds. But yeah. listen, we've got the rematch. You wanted the rematch. Yeah. I wanted the rematch. I gave you the rematch. You give me the rematch. Because it's an exciting because you know. crowd. Because you know. Because you I know. Really get, I could have had a right win you could. to retire on. Well, what's the point? I want a crowd pleasing yeah. thing. I want my supporters to go out, have a great night, and say, do you know what? The last Oof. fight was amazing. This fight's going to be amazing. You do a lot of trash talking. Yeah. My supporters don't like that. Yeah. You know I mean, they're coming there to cheer me on, obviously. Yeah. You've got your guys going to cheer yeah, you well, on. So we're going to do what we've got to do. But after it, I hope, once I've won, we're going to have a beer together. Once, once I've won, won, I'll even treat you to the beer. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 so, that's Michael, win or lose? Is this your last fight? This will be my last fight. Well. I've been around a long time now. Yeah. I've actually, I'm actually looking forward to it. That's why I'm feasting myself in the gym, because I'm going to be in immense shape. Three weeks to go, almost. Yeah. And like, I'm almost on the way. I mean, uh, I like my food and things like that. Take that all away from me. I want to spend more family time. And so for me, my last fight obviously was for the Commonwealth title against a young gun, up and coming guy. Um, weren't successful, but I wanted Steve to give me that break, yeah. try and get me one of the major titles. I wasn't successful. Like I said, I'm old. You ain't going to be successful but, again. You ain't going to be successful but, again. Well, maybe so. Yeah. But how how important is day, it for you to retire him then? It's not about retiring. You're going to retire himself. But yeah. where am I going to go? If I, if, if I lose, I, you know, it's over for me. Where am I going to go? Where are you going to go if you win? If I win, I'm going to move on to bigger things. That's a bit of Steve Goodwin. If he wins, he'll be in the There you go. There you go. Number eleven. I'm jumping straight to the number nice, 11. Nice little achievement that yeah. will be. It, it won't happen. I it won't wait. happen. I but can't wait. At the end of the day, I can't wait. I'm giving him Get out the opportunity. I can't wait. To giving him the opportunity to come out for me to look amazing, to give him a boxing lesson, and do what I do. Do what I do best. It's coming. Up. Okay. Mate. Final words. I'm going to give you the last word, but Chaz is a challenger. What have you got to say before this fight on the 21st? It's a three and a half weeks. Get ready because uh, I'm going to give you hell. Mm. I'm going to give you hell. You know, you the, you. truthfully, you're not going to knock me out because I've never been knocked we'll out. See. I've been we'll stopped. See. We'll see. The last fight I got stopped. First time for everything. It wasn't, I didn't go First down or anything everything. like that, but I've never been First knocked out. If you everything. actually knock me out, well, Ask Clinton well, McKellar's the power I'm producing in a minute. Yeah, well, that's it. Right? And then it's spiral not about super middleweights, that. mate. Spiral yeah. super middleweights, mate. Might, I'm, I'm doing things different for this fight. And I can't got wait. To I'm be, doing everything different for this fight. You know, I'm doing it for you. I can't wait. You're going to be taking so much. As long as you're enrolled 20, 30 times around, then it's going to be entertaining for the crowd. You know, I can't wait. Bring it on. That's it. Somebody can't punch. 
You know about it. Bring it on. We're going to see. Who's taken face see on the last one? Look at your face. Stay in my face. Did you not see your face? Did you not see your face? Your face is worse than mine. Your yeah, face is worse than mine. You had a cut. You no. couldn't even see how you are. You look like a sloth. Like you've been run over by a bash, man. Sloth. I'm giving you shoes. Sloth. You know the look. Fuck me. I should be called the look. I'm better looking than him. What's he on about? The look. All right, well, I can't wait. I'll be ringside. I'll be calling you both out uh, in the ring. I'm really, really excited for this fight. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Don't ask me to shake his ass. Yeah. How about a quick face-off for the camera, then, yeah? Just do it over the table. Come on, get closer than that. Come on, find me. <laughs> All right, March 21st, Goodwin Sports presents Best of Enemies. This is Hollywood. Thanks, guys.